I've been doing some scouting today guys as you all can see I found some interesting stuff so far. I've walked a few miles. I believe it's the 29th of September. Our season here in Iowa opens on the 1st of October and we're trying to hunt these bucks early season this time. We haven't hunted the opening week in Iowa for, I don't know, it's been several years. I think I just saw a deer take off. Yeah, I did. Just saw a doe take off right there. But I'm not scouting for potential setups today so much as I just am trying to get a feel for some of these properties that we've hunted in the past. They're changing every single year with whether it's due to water level or weather drought conditions yada yada i noticed that there was a lot of fresh duck potato that was growing near the water's edge and some of these low water marshy areas that are usually waist deep water and this year because we haven't had much rain all summer there's hardly any water in there at all which is perfect growing conditions you know it's that it's that damp marshy soil for that duck potato stuff to grow so i found that deer were hitting that also been looking at these sloughs and stuff inside of this marsh to see if they've changed at all. But I came in here this year, I found a bunch of beaver dams that I guess have just been made or finished in the last year and a half or so. And it's caused things to change a bunch. Found one spot at the head of this slough behind me that was dried up because of a beaver dam and the deer were using that bedding area heavy. They were browsing in there. I didn't find any fresh rubs, but I found some really big fresh tracks and tons of browse sign in general. So that's a spot I'm gonna mark. I'm also watching for these beaver dams and marking those so I know where I can cross these sloughs. They run in different areas throughout this marsh and without a pair of waders, there's no way you can get across them. Obviously, if you figure out how to cross them, you're gonna get away from people and get into some of that more remote stuff, which is where I wanna be. So I've been dropping pins every time I find one of those beaver dams on OnX so I know how to get in and out of these areas. Been a productive day so far. It's the day before Iowa's bow opener. We're all planning on being in the woods tomorrow. Everybody's on their way home today from trips all over the place. Jake's coming back from Wisconsin. Greg and Ted are on their way back from Missouri. And I am doing a little bit of scouting. Me, Ted, and Gooch scouted this bedding area back in here about a month and a half ago. We blew it up. I mean, we blew all kinds of deer out of it. We're in the jungle today. It's nasty in here. But they're in here. Saw a couple nice bucks in the process and uh, found some really good spots back in there to get in tight to that bedding area. And this trail that I'm standing on right here is one of the exits coming out of the bedding. We're probably, I don't know, 250 yards from the main portion of the bedding area. As you can tell, I don't know if you can see that up there. We put a camera up over this exit trail and I just checked it, it was on video mode and we have multiple shooter bucks going in and out of there in the last month. Not a lot, not with a lot of regularity, but I'm assuming that they're in there. Several nice bucks have came right past this camera in the last week and a half, two weeks. So good bet that they're back in that bedding area because that's what I think is the best bedding area on this entire place. That's a good sign. I'm not worried about putting scent down right here because we're not planning on hunting right here. As you can tell, most of the trail camera videos are at night and it's of bucks either going in or coming out of there. So I'm not worried about this spot right here. I got the camera set up, probably gonna pull it down, go move it to another spot. But we know that there's bucks in here that we wanna hunt. We've already scouted these bedding areas before. So this is a likely spot for us to be here in the next week or two. What we're trying to do when we're speed scouting like this is cover as much ground as possible. It's eight in the morning right now. I'm planning on hitting two or three other spots just like this one, either checking cameras or checking exit trails for fresh sign out of bedding and then this evening I'm hoping to get up somewhere and observe a big bedding area maybe get eyes on something to hunt tomorrow so lots and lots and lots of scouting we, we spend more time scouting than we do hunting because you want to be hunting the deer where they are at right now that's the most important thing especially in October so let's go on to the next one Heading out to check some cameras. It's the day before opening day in Iowa. Me and Gooch are going to check some cameras that we hung this summer. But sounds like Warbs found a bunch of good stuff today. And yesterday he's been scouting pretty hard the past couple of days. Everybody's gonna be in Iowa for the next week or so, it sounds like. And we're gonna be getting after him pretty hard. So it should be fun to have everybody around and hunt some bucks. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. But we're going to check a couple cameras, see what we pick up on them. Mitch and I are out here 
here checking cameras. It's the day before bow season starts here in Iowa. And we got some good bucks on here. A couple of them in daylight within the past couple days. So this is a spot that we've hunted in the past. We hunt around here a lot every year. I shot a buck just down in the bottom last November. And then Greg shot a buck um, a little ways to the north of us last November as well. So this is a good area that we usually come to every year. Warb's already been down through this whole bottom below us here, scouting yesterday and then this morning. Me and Gooch are just going around checking all these cameras. Warb's been scouting in and around some of them, so we got the cameras intel and then whatever Warb finds and then whatever Gooch and I find this evening walking around. Look at all these acorns, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, there's a pile of acorns in here, a bunch of caps right here, fresh caps. Yeah, some cool acorns, real fresh caps, yep. Lots of acorns that are dropping, so. We just got back from Missouri last night and we were hunting a bunch of acorns just like this. With tons of deer on them, tons of um, buck activity and whatnot. So I would assume that's going to be the same case around here. We just got to figure out how to slip in on them and get one down. Well guys, pardon the wind. It's been a productive day of scouting so far. Ethan and Ted are down the road probably an hour from me right now running more cameras, doing that same thing that I was talking about this morning. We're, we're checking all these cameras and all these trails leading out of bedding areas. You know, we're, we're putting the cameras anywhere from 200 to 500 yards outside these bedding areas. We're checking those exit trails for fresh sign, fresh rubs, fresh scrapes, fresh poop, big tracks. We've had good luck doing that so far. We found probably a half a dozen spots in the last two days where we think there are big bucks living. So. Hopefully those guys are finding some more stuff this evening. I'm going in here to observe a really big, dried up, swampy river bottom. And this stuff is usually underwater, but for whatever reason this year, the water is real low. And a lot of this thick brush has grown up in it. I'm gonna try to get in a tree over here where I can get pretty high and I can see a long way across this thing. Hoping to spot a buck get up out of his bed tonight that we can either go in after in the morning or we can go in after tomorrow night. Got about two and a half hours before it gets dark, maybe a little longer than that. And all my gear on my back, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go up here, jet up in a tree, and hopefully spot a buck tonight. <laughs> Finally got everything hung up in this tree, right here behind me. I initially went up the cove a little ways. Was wanting to get in a tree up there that puts me just a little bit closer to the action. I mean, I was still gonna be like four or 500 yards away from the suspected bedding, which is plenty of cushion. But I got up there and I started looking and there was a dry riverbed out there with, I don't, I don't know if it was duck potato or some other type of, you know, natural browse that was growing down there in that moist soil. And there was deer tracks all over it. It was all browsed down and it was gonna be right below the tree that I was gonna pick to set up in. So I just scrapped that idea, backed off another 200 yards and got up in this tree. I think we're gonna see a bunch of deer tonight. I'm gonna to grab the camera, jet up in the tree, and uh, hopefully spot a big one. Sun's just about to dip below the horizon, and that should help make things a little bit more visible out here. I've seen a handful of does. In fact, a few does popped out right here, right below me. I'm trying to glass deer from half a mile to a mile away, and a bunch of deer just show up right underneath of me right here. And there's a bunch of turkeys out in front of me, but I haven't seen anything else. It's getting on close to prime time now, though, so I should see something here pretty quick, I would think.
well, that's going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Ended up seeing probably close to 20 deer, maybe, maybe a few more. And one real nice buck. I also filmed several other deer that were like a mile off. I have no idea what they were. Tomorrow's opening day here in Iowa. We're going to be in the woods. And we've got a good start on several different locations, including this one. So let's get back to the house and get ready to go hunting tomorrow.